Hello friends, welcome to another Stamp With Me Tuesday. This week we are doing a terrific technique, although it might be a fun fold. I can't decide if it's a technique or fun fold, but tonight we're gonna learn how to create an easy slider card. You can see it right here, it is so cool. It slides out. This one I did with the hot air balloon stamp set, which is not what I'm gonna be using uh, as I make it tonight, but I wanted to show you some other examples. There you go, this is what we're gonna be making. So cool, so easy. If you are here and watching me live, go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know if you are stamping along with me tonight. If you are watching the replay, special welcome to you. I love that you come watch the replay. Let me know that you're here watching the replay. Let me know if you are stamping along with the replay too. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button so you always know when I go live and you can come back and join me again. I am Heidi with Onigo Stamping and I'm gonna help you reconnect with your inner artist to make beautiful handmade cards and gifts using stamps, ink, and paper. You are going to amaze your friends. So, hello, Teresa and Fonda and Dora and Bonnie and Terry and Jill and ah, so many people. You're watching, not stamping. All right, Carol Sue, you are stamping. I'm trying to like read comments and uh, flip around my screens here. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go a flip de doo There we go. All right. So, Janet, you're going to try a stamp with me. All right. This might be one that, you know, we do kind of the steps. You might want to just watch and, and watch the replay um, or, you know, watch it first once. <coughs> Excuse me, a little cough. Watch it through one time and then come back and do it again. Or you can try to stamp right along with me tonight. So, all right. This is what we're doing. Now, if you need the dimensions for tonight's card, they are written in the description to the video, whether you are on YouTube or Facebook. I am starting with a piece of cardstock. This piece of cardstock, it doesn't even fit in my screen. It is nine and a quarter inches by eight and a half inches. Dora, how do you know what you need when you're stamping along? Um, so what I do is I post um, the announcement that the video is going to go live. I post it the day before and the uh, measurements for all of the supplies that you need are always in the description to that video, whether you catch it over on YouTube or whether you see the description or the event on Facebook. So, all right, here we go. So I have this piece that is nine and a quarter by eight and a half inches. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer, which I love my paper trimmer. And I'm going to start with the scoring blade. This is the cutting blade. I'm going to push that out of the way. And I'm going to start with the light colored scoring blade. Now I want to score. So it's kind of a little bit hard to tell, but this is the nine and a quarter inch direction here. This is eight and a half inch here. So I want eight and a half inch at the top of my paper trimmer. And I'm going to start by scoring this at four inches. And then I'm gonna open up, swing open this arm. Hopefully I have enough space. I got I'm kind of like scrunched on my table here. So um, then you're gonna go ahead and slide it over to eight inches and we're gonna score it again. So you're gonna score it at four inches and eight inches. All right. We set the paper trimmer aside for just a minute. We're gonna need it again though. So don't let it go too far. So there is our eight and a half by nine and a quarter inch cardstock, eight and a half, nine and a quarter. And I have scored it at four inches and eight inches. I'm gonna go ahead and put it this way. This is the way it's gonna be um, to show the front. And this is with this little tiny flap down here, okay? So your little tiny strip flap is at the bottom. And I'm going to put on the designer series paper. So I'm using the Simply Zinnias, I don't know what it's called, the Zinnia designer series paper. This is one of the online exclusives. I'm gonna put this on the front. I'm using um, Flirty Flamingo cardstock. I'm gonna use some green glue. When I am putting the adhesive on this, I only wanna put the adhesive on the edges. I don't wanna put adhesive in the center. You're gonna see why. I'm just gonna put adhesive on the edges. Although, you know, it probably wouldn't matter, but. I'm just gonna put the adhesive on the sides. Using a little green glue there. And I just wanna center this between those score lines. So I know they're a little bit hard to see on camera, but I'm just centering this between the score lines. All right, so I have a score line here, I have a score line here, 
and then I have my designer series paper in the center. Now, if you have like a big circle punch, you can go ahead and grab that. If you don't, what you can do, I'm gonna make a like a thumb, a thumb tab there. What you could do is you could just cut like a triangle in there if you wanted to. Okay. So you could just take your paper snips and you could just go snip and snip. You can make it wider than that. If you didn't have a circle though, you could just make a little spot like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with my uh, with my punch. If you have the punches, these are, they store flat. If you've never used them before, or if you just get one. And then on the bottom, there's like this tab and you push it open and that's gonna open up your punch for you. I always like to punch with my punch upside down. I'm gonna try to center it between the score lines. And then I'm gonna punch that out. So that's just gonna give me a little thumb tab to kind of get the inside piece. All right, so far so good, hopefully. Now we need to do kind of the scary part. <laughs> this I think is the hardest step of all because we need to cut our slit in here. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull back in my paper trimmer. Now on my paper trimmer, you can see I put a little bit of, I'm sorry, hold on just a second. Dora, you're asking me a question. I post this the day before on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can find uh, the event on Facebook or you can see where the video and it will show, um, it'll be like upcoming videos and it's there. All right, so back to this. All right, here we are. I put a little bit of washi tape on my paper trimmer. What I have done is that I found that these markings were a little bit hard to read when I was trying to cut. So I took a little piece of washi tape and this is one inch right here, all right? And then down here, this is eight and a quarter inch. Oops, you can't see that. Let me pull that up. I have one down here at eight and a quarter inch. And I'm gonna turn this sideways. We're gonna go a little bit sideways. So I have it at one inch, eight and a quarter inch. And that is where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna slide my piece of cardstock in here and line it up with the two. So it's at two inches. I'm gonna take my cutting blade and I want the center of my cutting blade to line up with my tape right there, right at one inch. All right, and I'm gonna cut from one inch whew, down to here, eight and a quarter. And if you don't quite go far enough, that's okay. It's better to go not quite far enough than too far. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Our card now has a giant slit in it. it has a giant slit in this. All right. So what we're gonna do is I have two pieces of cardstock. Now you have these little pieces of cardstock. These are one and a half by three quarters inch, and we're going to fold them both in half. While I'm doing that, I do wanna let you know, I got this idea and I meant to go look up her name again, but I got this idea from another demonstrator who showed this at our annual conference using the new like shopping set. So, and I meant to go back and like find her name and I haven't done that. I'll have to put it in the, in the video description when I'm done. All right. So I just folded those two little pieces in half and we're gonna slide these through the slit, all right? So I'm gonna slide the top one this way. All right. And I'm gonna slide the bottom one this way. So you can see they're open and they're just going both directions. Now we're gonna line these up. They're not gonna quite fit. They're gonna kind of overlap each other just a little bit. That's, it's gonna be okay. All right, this just helps. When I first did this, I only used one and I found that my front piece was really floppy. <laughs> so this, I just go ahead and let those overlap just a little bit. I wanna slide this all the way down to the end, okay? So all the way down across from your little thumb hole. So we're sliding this all the way down to the end. I wanna try to keep those tight over there. We're gonna flip this over and try to keep them tight here. Because now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of green glue on here, okay? Putting that on both of those little flaps. 
And you should have a piece of basic white or vanilla paper. This is three and three quarters inch by nine inches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. And again, I am going to uh, put this in between those two score marks, which I know are kind of hard to see, but there's two score marks on here. And I'm gonna set my piece of white cardstock right in between them. So it's kind of centered there. Actually, I'm gonna draw those score marks so you can see them because this is the inside of the card. There's a score mark here. And there's a score mark down here. All right, so that piece of white is right in the center of there. And it's just adhered to those two little pieces of white. I'm gonna flip those over, make sure they're good and kind of equal there, okay? As flat as they can be. So that's the stuff we're at. Hopefully y'all are keeping up with me. I have another piece of um, another piece of the flirty flamingo. I'm gonna go ahead and use my big circle punch. This is the two and three-eighths inch circle punch. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a circle. Now, if you don't have a big circle punch like this, well, you should get one. <laughs> because it's useful for so many things. But this could be a rectangle too. There is no reason this has to be a circle. It could be a rectangle. I'm just using a circle because then I can punch it and it's really easy. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this circle. Once again, I'm gonna grab my green glue. I'm gonna put a little bit of green glue on my two little tabs there. And then we're gonna adhere that circle right there. And we'll just hold that in place. And this is gonna be the base for whatever it is we want to slide. Now, whatever it is you want to slide, you can make it bigger than the circle. So the circle doesn't show at all. You can make the circle like stand out. You could make it, like I said, a rectangle or something that was bigger. Um, there's all sorts of things you could do, which is why I am calling this a technique instead of a fun fool. <laughs> okay, and maybe I'm cheating just a little bit on our techniques. All right, so hold that down. So that you can see eventually, once we get this put together, is going to slide. That is going to create our slider on our card. And now we need to close this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, that white's in there, I'm going to fold on my score lines. Fold this little flap towards the inside. And then we're going to fold the whole thing. I'm going to fold the bottom up, I think. There we go. It's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit unstable because you have that white piece in there that is not, you know, tied down or whatever. So, all right. And then you could use green glue on this. I like to just use some tear and tape, some really nice strong tear and tape. Plus it's just easy. So I'm going to put tear and tape on here. Run this all the way down the side. But you could, you could use green glue. There's no reason not to. And then we can peel that piece off. And then we're just gonna close this up. So we got that flap and we're just gonna close it tight. And there is our basic card. All right, so that slides in and out. And now it's just decorating it. <laughs> so now we just get to decorate this. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have, well, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna punch just a little bit of this. This is some more of the, the zinnias paper. And I'm just gonna use a little bit down here. I'm gonna put this on my piece of white. Now I like to wait. This is like one of these scary things where I like to wait to stamp the inside of my card until it's all put together because depending on what you put here and how much it sticks over and how far you slide down and all those kinds of things, um, I've, I've made some where it was kind of hard to read the sentiment. So, <laughs> I'm gonna stamp that the last. That's kind of the scariness, scariness. I'm gonna do it last. All right, or at least not right away. So there's my little tab. I'm just putting some coordinating paper on there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna use the Be My Valentine stamp set because I thought bees would be fun. They fly. I already have this on blocks though. I'm gonna make two bees, I think. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I didn't make this ahead of time, so. We're winging it, we're winging it. Do I have, oh, I don't, all right. So we're gonna make ourselves, where's my bee punch? I forgot to get my bee punch out, I have to look for it. There it is, 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab my B punch because this B has a punch. Now this piece of cardstock, you can't see this, but this has old score marks. It's kind of a dud piece. I'm gonna use it as a template. I'm gonna use this as a template just to get this started here. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my little B butt. We're gonna put that in there just like that. I'm gonna grab my wings. I'm gonna put my wings up here. I'll leave that under there. So we're just lining this up, just using this as a template, lining up my B. Making sure his little stinger is in the right spot. It's a little bit hard. It's still hard to see. All right. And then the stamp stick to my hands. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put its wings up there. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick this both up with my block. And that way I can stamp it one time. All right. And I'm grabbing my memento ink. I'm going to ink this up with memento. And. Stamp that right on there. I'm going to make two beads. I don't think I quite have enough space. I'm going to grab another piece of white. I have so much scrap of white sitting around from all of the card kits I have put together this weekend. So I sent out the Fiesta Mystery Craft Boxes. And I sent out the April Online Card Class Kits. And uh, I have tons of white scrap here. I need to make a bunch of cards and use up my white scrap. All right. So we have the bee stinger and his wings. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do one of these, I think, with some lemon lolly. And I think I'm gonna do the other one in Daffodil Delight. I think I'm doing two, two different color bees, just, to, just for the fun of it. Why not? I don't know that I've made a card with two different color bees on it. I almost made pink bees, but I decided that might be a little too radical. Ooh, you know what that did? It had picked up some of the some of the memento from the first stamping. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna punch these out with my B punch. So now I should be able to line these up because I lined them up before I put them on the clear block. Punch those out, and we'll punch out the lemon lolly bee. And then we'll give them some faces because these bees definitely need faces because it's the best part of the bee set. <laughs> I love putting faces on things. All right. If you, uh, if you ordered the Fiesta Mystery Craft Box, you're going to see some, some tacos with faces. <laughs> All right. So let's put our little bees on here maybe. I kind of just see see what I want to do here. I want to make them going that way because I don't want them flying backwards. I don't know if bees fly backwards, but that seems a little odd to me. So I'm going to put them that way. All right, let's grab their faces and their antennae and my memento ink pad again. Yeah. We'll stamp his little face on there. And then we'll stamp this one on here. Now this card, I am using that uh, Zinnia paper, which is not new paper. It is currently available. However, my other two sample cards are gonna use brand new paper that is coming out in the new annual catalog that's coming May 1st. If you have not heard, I am offering a paper share for the new catalog. So if you wanna be able to get a little bit of each of the new pattern papers, the paper share is gonna be the way to go. You can also do a ribbon and embellishment share. You can choose which one you wanna do. I'm also offering new this year. Um, you can choose to add on card bases to match the pattern paper. So lots of cool stuff going on, but it's kind of a way to get a little bit of all of the new the new stuff so you can see it in person so you can try it out decide what you like best 
or just have a little bit of everything to use because you can't decide because it's also cute. But that is going to be coming. Registration is currently open. You do have to register by April 24th. It's a little bit earlier this year because uh, <laughs> because I'm going to be gone on May 1st. So I have to get it all done, ready to go, um, and all that kind of Well, not. I have to get it ready to order. So I have to get the orders. I have to get the reservations closed. And then uh, what do I want to say? And then get it billed because you can't pay immediately for it. You have to. I have to bill you for it um, because of Stampin' Up! their rules, not mine. And so I got to get it all done before I leave town at the end of May, at the end of April. So, and then when I come back, I'm just going to be gone for like a week. And then when I come back, I'm going to hopefully have all the paper will be here by the time I get back and I will cut it all and get it shipped later in May. So there is our first B. Now I'm going to add a second B. They're so cute. They're like hanging out together. <laughs> so there's our bees. And I want to add a sentiment on the front here. So I have a sentiment. Take that off. I have a sentiment and it says, you're as sweet as honey. And I'm going to stamp this on just a little tiny, I think a little half inch piece here and add it to the front. You know what, Dora? It is not easy to talk and craft at the same time. You're very right. All right. So I'm going to stamp this with just some black. And this I'm going to put right here, I think, at the front. And then on the inside, I have another sentiment. And I actually grabbed, because the Be My Valentine stamp set only has, like, mostly Valentine stings. And I thought this would make a good thank you card. So I grabbed the Simply Said stamp set. This is out of the new catalog. I grabbed the Simply Said stamp set and I grabbed just this thank you. I'm gonna stamp the thank you on here as soon as I find a block. All right, there we go. Now, hopefully I don't make a mistake at this point because the whole card is like put together. <laughs> so I better not talk too much. Get my, okay, please be straight. Oh, not too bad. There we go. So now it says thank you on the inside. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this sentiment flat. Normally I would pop up the sentiment, but what I don't want is I don't want this circle sliding across and getting hooked up on uh, on the, my sentiment strip. So I'm not going to put it on dimensionals. I'm just going to put it on with some green glue. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon or something to this. So this says, you're as sweet as honey, just like that. And then I do have to grab, okay, this is not stamping up because for some reason we don't have little hole punches right now, but I'm going to grab just a little hole punch and punch that, All right? And then let's see, what ribbon do I want to use? Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use some of this green ribbon that is being discontinued, which I am so sad. For some reason, I thought it was carrying over. And then I realized it was being discontinued. And I am so sad because it is the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack, which is Petal Pink and Lemon Lime Twist, which happen to be like the colors I use the absolute most. So really bummed that it's going away because I use it all the time. All right. I'm going to slide this through this hole, maybe. So we'll slide that through there. And then I'm gonna go ahead, grab my scissors, trim this, do that, zip. And then I pulled out my combo pack of colored baker's twine. And I'm just gonna tie a little piece of the um, flirty flamingo, the flirty flamingo baker's twine. Check this out. I saw this tip somewhere and this is such a great tip. I took my paper snips and I snipped a teeny tiny slit at the end of my little roll of baker's twine. And that way when I'm done, I can slide it in there and it keeps my baker's twine from unrolling itself, which is always a problem. So I'm just gonna take this, grab my baker's twine and try to tie this. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be a little bit persnickety tonight. 
I don't, I don't think it's going to behave itself. I just feel that way. Honestly, Baker's Twine, okay, I love this one because it's colored. But Baker's Twine is not my favorite. <laughs> I find that it is just too floppy sometimes. I like it and don't like it at the same time. I'm really going to miss the silver threaded twine, which is my favorite thing ever. Also being discontinued. Really sad about that because it has more tooth. Like it's a little bit rough. And I like to pull out the pieces. And then when you tie it, it's thin like a baker's twine, but it has more, it stays more. Like you tie it and it stays. That bow actually turned out not bad. Surprising, surprising this evening. Right. Turn those up to be even. So now you can see I can take this. Whoa, it likes to unravel itself. So we'll just wrap that up. And then I can just pull that up to the top. Let's see if I can get it and just slide it in there. Super cool. I was so excited when I learned that. So let's trim these up. And there we go. There is our really cool slider. Yeah, it has te texture and doesn't slip. It has tooth. <laughs> it has tooth. I don't know where I learned that term. Probably in a costuming class or something. It has tooth to it. All right, so there we go. There's our little bees flying in a field of flowers. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I just love it so much. Woo! All right, so there's our bees. I showed you at the beginning the one with uh, the hot air balloons. And then this is the up in the sky. I don't remember. It's a new pattern paper that's coming. It matches the plane that I'm going to show you next. So there we go. That opens up to you for a birthday card. By the way, happy birthday to my mom. I don't know if she's watching tonight, but it's her birthday. So happy birthday to her. I think this one's really fun too. There we go. And then, of course, the airplane one. And this is the new, um, what is it called? Adventurous Sky. But I used it with the new citrus paper. <laughs> so this is blue on this side, but on the other side of this paper, it's citrus. It's oranges. But there we go. We get this flying across. You're the best, plain and simple. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love a good pun, right? There we go. So our flying plane through the air too. It's your daughter's birthday too, Jill. Oh, that's awesome. So there we go. Now I did, just to let you know, these are sized because we don't currently carry a, uh, a slimline envelope, which is silly. So I just made these. I fit, figured out the size to fit a regular business size envelope. So all you have to do is find some business supplies, business sized envelopes at your local uh, office supply store. And uh, you can pop that right in there. So that's what that's what the size is. That's how I sized it. All right, because I did do one. Did I show you guys this one? I showed this a while ago. Oh, here we go. This is the wishing you one. And this is the one you can see. Do you see what I said? I didn't stamp this last and I should have put it down here. So this is the one I messed up on. But that one's really fun too. I should redo it. <laughs> so, so many cute ones. Oh, and then this one, oh, look at this. I'm just pulling more out because I made a bunch of these a while ago. This one is the, oh, what is it called? The Thoughtful Wishes card. And this one I made to fit a regular envelope. Okay, so this one fits in a regular, um, your regular medium envelope. But this one, so again, here I did, I stamped this first. This is, and I stamped this before I even put the card together. And this is why I learned, this is how I learned, you gotta stamp the sentiment afterwards so you really know how much space you have because um, it really doesn't show up. But you can still do that same slider effect even on a smaller card. It just doesn't have as far to go. That's why I like the, the bigger cards because it has more room. <sighs> All right, I hope that y'all have had fun tonight. I hope you enjoy these cards. I hope you make some. I'm gonna um, snap some pictures of these. I haven't even taken pictures yet. I'm gonna snap some pictures of these. I'm going to put them over on uh, the Facebook page. And y'all, if you make a card, one of these slider cards, I hope that you will come over there and you will post a picture of your card in the comments so that we can all see it. Because I always think it, it is so much fun to see how the same card design layout technique 
looks with different papers and different stamps. So I'd love to see that. So hopefully you come over and do that and you make some of these slider cards because they're super fun. All right, I will see you on Thursday. On Thursday, we're gonna be using the Country Flowers stamp set to make a cute card. So uh, that's gonna be from the new catalog. So anyway, excited about it. Excited, haven't made the cards yet. We're doing that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm running a little behind this week. Anyway, all right. I am going to see y'all on Thursday. Y'all have an e a fabulous evening and uh, go make some slider cards. See you later.